Welcome to the Café Voltaire, my friend. Keeps us weapons at your side. I encourage my customers to discuss armed revolution, but I don't want it beginning here, you see. Can't say I've seen many bars like this one. There is none like it, sir. None. It is people, mon ami, who grant life and personality to a café. And it is the people who talk here ceaselessly, who drink absinthe cocktails, write poetry, experiment with technology, seduce one another with unbridled passion and imagination, who give this place spark. I've always been suspicious of wordy intellectuals. They think they can justify anything if they cover it over in enough bullshit. Aha, you have panache, you have attitude. Have a chair, have a gin. There will be entertainment later. Ultraviolet will be performing instantaneous poetry fashioned on stage from words extracted from her subconscious by a neural implant of her own design. She runs the output through a graphics program that converts the literal meanings and emotional connotations of the words into holograms projected throughout the room. Not to be missed, mon ami. You looking for a handout? Sorry. No time to educate a novice. I don't deal with people walking in up the streets unless they come with a good reference. So beat it. Would you like to hear my latest poem? Please? I love to share my work. Silicon crashed in my eyes as I awake to another wholesome trans technicals breakfast. This time the toast is too crisp. A friend's burnt mind has crumbled to dust. His feeble form rots at the deck. His mind just plankton in the cyber sea awash with the sediment of a thousand other dissolved integrities. I rom the sea for a mere germ of the freedom to know. But do I rock the boat? Mine spills over with the juice of revolutionary idea. Every drop licked up by the data police and promptly disposed of while a record is made of my transgressions. I atone for my sins at the great megacorp altar. It hears all and forgives all and demands only my soul as penance. Orwell, Sterling, Gibson, they washed us only in the water of electric knowledge. But one has come who surrounds us with a sea. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. It is the new god everywhere. A nano-deity that pervades the network of our souls. A vengeful god indeed. Yes, a fresh mind to connect with. Let's talk. Tell me what interests you. I'd like to learn all I can from you. There's always more to learn, more to talk about. Let's talk. I'm not really up for that right now. Thanks. You're probably just not in tune to it. You need something to open your mind. A little pyrocetum would wake up your brain. If you want to specialize, I'm working on a combination of centrophenazine to enhance intelligence and venpocetine to boost memory. Of course, there are days when a whiff of vasopressin is all you need for a full day of learning, but on my last deck, 20 milligrams of sulfutiam did the trick. The sheer quantity of information I brought back. And you don't need a Praxis 3000 for that kind of storage. It's all up here in the gray matter, friend. Along with a lot of medical waste. I take it mental fitness is not a subject of interest. Maybe something a little closer to home. Last aphrodisiac I mixed was a combination of biomacryptine and deprenal that was out of this world. None of us left the cafe for two days. Listen, I mix only for myself, but if you're interested, I could get you the means to be your own medicine man. I've upgraded my equipment, looking to unload my old pharmaceutical kit for, say, $300. Interested? 
Ah, well, go ahead. Wallow in your own ignorance. Let your brain stagnate. You are an aficionado, mon ami. I can see that plain enough. Check for clearance badge is negative. Admission to headquarters denied. Looking for first-rate weapons today, mister? Now you I know. Remember? We cracked the Citibank virtual commodities portfolio and downloaded the entire D-Base into a bank of Beirut cluster. Afterwards, we spent three days celebrating at the Club Med Orbital. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I hope you're not here trying to relive old glories. I wish. It's present nightmares keep me moving these days. Handling some dangerous scenarios may involve the company. May? Company's not usually very subtle about its presence. 
No, but some of its individuals are. Problem is, you can't always tell how deep Transtech has their hooks into somebody. Find out. You got a DAC. Use it. Transtech External Security maintains a cluster loaded with records on half the people in the city. Doom pilots are out of the business. But there are other decks for sale if you want to melt security's ice. The address for their cluster is TT Heat. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. One for pleasant memories. Don't be reckless. Nets thick with cages and security isn't just clipping wings. Streets buzzing about summary executions. About the company leaving angels to rot in cages. Any pilots dealing cloaks? Never warm enough to be stripping cloaks. Transtech headquarters is still the best place for latest hardware, but you either need a mole inside or an army to invade the place. Big building. Easy to get lost in. Others have done it. Yeah, and a lot more others have gotten shot apart in there. Must be some action for you to be considering a run on the headquarters. What I'm hearing true? Pilots not freejacking anymore? Yeah, you heard that. Guess I'm out of luck. Who you humping for? Probably undercover for Transtech. Maybe hiring out to some penthouse wallow who wants to lay his eyes on restricted data. Telling me a Doom pilot has problems with that? I got a problem with the company making a fortune fencing off cyberspace and the fact that only people who can afford a deck jockey get access that everyone deserves. If the Doom pilots are copying an attitude, I can live with it. Not like I haven't melted ice before. If you're gonna do it, try it with a little vasopressin or siloblossom in you. It gives you a more seamless mind c space interface. Movements become more intuitive. Dealer named Madame Meskel deals with stuff. You can find her at 91st and Broadway. Mention my name if you have to. Remember me, Stive? Should I? Ransom Stark. I hired you and a few other Doom pilots a couple of years ago to help me crack a DuPont stack. You were good. Let us out of Transtech Sea Space. Hell, I still don't have a clue how to do that. Yeah, I remember you. We carried your butt on that one. We don't contract anymore, so if you're talent hunting, try the Flux Riders. Those little losers still whore themselves. You want me to believe the Doom pilots don't slip the net anymore? Didn't say that, did I? Said we don't hire out. Hypocritical? We ran about information freedom and total access. Then we handed over to the big wallets. Now we're living what we talk. Even negotiating with the Kafka conspiracy about joint action. My loss then, Stive. You're the best. Freedom fighter now, Stark. Stark, how have you been? It's been a while. Looks like you've been surfing the edge but got too close to the blade, my friend. You look like hell. You know, there's talk you got your hands on Incubus. I always knew you were a guy who had everything. This confirms it. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously, I'd like to help out. I know you've got to finance this little endeavor of yours. I just hit the mother load. Got the cyberspace address of the Bank of New York. Why shouldn't I let an old friend have the privilege of going in and giving himself a little advance now and again, right? But I do need one thing. I need a level 4 cloaking chip. I've been dangerously close to getting caught in the net lately. I'm on to something big. I don't want to lose it. Can we help each other out? Great. As soon as you get your hands on a level 4 cloaking chip, the code's yours. Hey, I know we're friends, Stark, but in this biz, you gotta look out for yourself. Stark, good to see you again. 
We were just talking about you yesterday. Listen, you'd be wise to stay low. Word on the street is that you got someone big after you. Damn shame about what happened to you. I'd talk to Sis Config if I were you. She may be able to help you out. You don't exactly look like one of the crowd. I'm here with a friend. Must be some friend to get into this joint. Ever since they closed off the Met to the public, the place is full of these rich brats every night. They seem harmless. Yeah, well, they supposedly closed off the place to protect the artifacts from us working class vandals. And what happens? These rich guys trash the place. I gotta go. Gotta keep an eye on these clowns. You still here? Getting to like mingling with society, I take it. Then you know how crazy it is. You're smart to be here tonight. Who knows what could happen to you there? Nice. You call this progress? Got a problem? History's just a bunch of old stories to me. But the Met was one of the last civilized places in New York. You have to party here? You missed the point, Jack. Past isn't just prologue for some of us. The ancients had it figured. Check out the grandeur of Angkor, deep in Cambodia's still steaming jungles. The silent wisdom of Zimbabwe's temple walls. Imagine the ancient Arabs camping in the Sahara where the searing heat of day and cool of night caused rocks to expand and contract, filling the desert night with the pained moans of the stone. The pyramids, man. Architecture with high purpose. Cross-reference that with Manhattan's pyramid, the Trans-Tech building. All I know is that Trans-Tech's execs booze it up inside the pyramids whenever they need a break from the Cairo casinos. Yeah. There are people who abuse the pyramids. Hell, there's a bunch of rich animals that party here during the days. To them, the museum's just a cool place to party. 
They're part of the reason this planet screwed over. We think the ancient world could teach the modern a few lessons. Look at the treasures in this museum. Texts say that our century's glories will be made in cyberspace. Yeah. Thousand years from now, anybody gonna want to look at a fat or a data cluster? Who can figure taste? Very funny. Disguised as a vampire to make fun of old bricks. Keep it up and I'll kick your teeth down your throat. I'm not looking for a fight, pal. You just might get one, though. Everybody here knows what happened to Wyke and me. But most of them know better than to give me hell over it. I'm in the market for things occult, dear. Should you be looking to deal, remember your friend Weish. Hello, darling. What a charmingly rustic costume you're wearing. Have we met? Should I know you? I don't think so. I would have remembered being patronized like this. Well, I have been out of commission for a while. Damien and I finally had our baby. The longest 21 weeks of my life. I said I was going to do this the old-fashioned way, so I carried her for a full five months. Then I had her incubated for the rest. Sure, I could have incubated her for the full term at the Ex Vitro Family Health Ministry, but that's what everybody does these days. You have kids? Not that I know of. You at all familiar with the technology of it? I guess you could say technology is my thing. Ah, oh, then maybe you can help me locate a program I've heard about. I hear it's experimental. Perhaps it doesn't even exist yet. But getting it would mean remarkable things for my daughter's mind. I'd pay you handsomely. You interested? Good. As you might already guess, my daughter is remarkably bright and gifted. There's so much we want her to know. I've heard of a code that could be programmed into Antoinette's mind to make her multilingual. I believe it's called a Babel code. I'm not sure who developed it or where you can get it, but I want you to get your hands on it. That's why I'm paying $25,000. The earlier we can have that implanted in her brain, the better. You can find Damien and me here early in the evenings. We go home early to install a subliminal instruction tape in the incubator. You know where to find us. Yes, what is it? Going around all evening striking up conversations with people who don't know you and don't want to know you. How quaint. Please don't include me in your rounds. Lighten up. Life ain't that hard. You want conversation? Try my wife Dauphine here. She's the socialite. Lives for it. I mean, look at her. Beautiful, isn't she? She just had a baby two weeks ago and she's already worried about the kid getting to know the right people. She amazes me. That kid's going to have the best of everything, I can tell you. Mix with all the right crowds. Me, I hate this stuff. It's Dauphine who's got us where we are today. I can't stand people, hate them. Hate having to make conversation with them, spend time with them. Honestly, I only really enjoy my own company. That baby of yours sounds like one lucky kid. Oh, she will be. Dauphine is seen to it. It's our philosophy that the child should be like all the other things we've acquired in this life. First, rape. Finest breeding, obviously. Upbringing, education, and there's no reason why she shouldn't benefit from the remarkable technology that makes the rest of life comfortable and state-of-the-art. 
And I heard. She told me what she was after. Then why are you bothering me with your naive questions? This conversation has begun to tire me. Then you know how crazy it is. You're smart to be here tonight. Who knows what could happen to you there? You, uh, you must, uh, be looking for the pastor. May I see him? Mother Mary's not in at the, uh, moment. I'm Brother Complicitus, the, uh, liturgical assistant. I'm afraid you'll have to see Mother Mary. I'm very busy right at the moment. You can find Mother Mary at the Great Lawn Camps during the day. She conducts a mission there, uh, among the poor, you know. Why do you insist on ogling me like that? I feel like a piece of meat in a supermarket case. Relax, I ain't looking. I'm here to hire mercs. Need the best on my side. You're looking at them. Fighting, decking, you name it, I'm the finest. Plus, I would add an element of style to your little endeavor. Looks like you could use it. Yeah, well, style ain't gonna save me when I'm on the wrong end of a white noise blaster. What makes you so damn sure of yourself? My skills speak for themselves. I'm even better than I look. That's why my fee for a job is $25,000. You always get what you pay for. You want the best? If not, don't waste my time. Then I suggest you leave. You really are an annoyance. Besides, you're standing in my light.
Looking for work, Cisco? Not me, amigo mio. I'm retired. I still drink here, but that's it. I've got a job you'd be perfect for. Kind of rigging I used to do is for young guys. I'm washed up. That's bull. I know about you. Know what you can do. When I first went freelance, the scroungers buzzed you and Hakeem all the time. You two are legends, man. You don't just quit on that. Man, <laughs> legends who don't know when to quit end up being dead legends. Hakeem is a businessman now. When he's ready for me, I'll be his partner. We don't need the danger. This could be a big score. Make you for life. Involves hitting the company. You were the best at that and I bet you're still pretty damn good. I'll be decking pretty deep into the network. No telling what company tech you could get your hands on. Ah, uh, I'm not a mark, kid. Don't try and sell me. Talk to Max Sudi. He always made the decisions for both of us. If he goes for your deal, I mean as well. These days, he hangs with a group called the Houston Matrix Rovers. I might be looking to hire some hard guys. You look like you've got the muscle, but do you got the references, big guy? Until recently, I've traveled the Midwest, doing God's work in the grain belt. You just say God's work? The angel of the Lord comes to me at night, in visions and voices, and tells me of good and evil. Do you see my hands? These hands strangle God's enemies. These hands crush the throat of the Socialist Party candidate for mayor of Chicago. These hands broke the neck of the Bolshevik, leading a strike against the St. Louis corn syrup cartel. These hands hurled the president of an East Coast bank from the roof of the Sears Tower to his death below. Those would be credentials, all right. Eloquently stated, too. What about vampires and trans-technicals? Would those be God's enemies, too? The voices are unclear about the companies. God's authority over man is reflected in the company's great power and wealth. There may be a link between the corporate and the divine. It is confusing. But about the night walkers, there can be no doubt. They are spawn of Satan and must be crushed by these hands of God. For $4,500, I can join your struggle. Will you have me? Do not stay my hands if you fight the Lord's enemies. I am a murderous weapon for righteousness. Stark, how you been? Garrick and I gave up on you months ago. Thought you must have bought the permanent cyber vacation, know what I mean? Hey, you don't look so good. I haven't been myself. Listen, I can trust you guys, right? Always good. You laid your own neck on the line for Garrick and me many a time when we nearly crossed the line with Trans Tech. Where is your old man anyway? He's working for an uptown gang that wants some Trans Tech dirt. Call themselves Electric Anarchy. Routine stuff. It's been a while since we had any jobs with some meat on them. I'm booked to trail some guy in the net who's accused of being one of these vampires we're hearing about on the news. Anything to stay working these days. What is it, Stark? Your pale skin went almost blue there for a second. Let's put it this way. If you were bounty hunting the undead, you'd be able to take that Cuban cruise with the money I'd bring in for you. They got you, Stark? Of all people? I can't believe it! Nobody could ever touch you when it came to combat. I mean, I hope you're okay, but how'd you let your guard down long enough to get taken like that? Hey, I'm human, okay? At least half, anyway. Now what I need is to keep my half-breed hide alive. And there's more. Incubus is real, Rima, and these guys want it. 
If we don't get it before they do, we're all goners. I'm gonna need the best people on my side. Sign me up. That is what you're getting at, isn't it? You just got yourself one of the best deckers in Manhattan. But I don't want to pull this kind of job without Garrick. Let's swing uptown to 175th Street and pick him up. He can skip the money he'd be making with that job. This is more important. Garrick's sure gonna be glad to see you, Stark. Hey there, Nimrod. How are they going? The music here is grating and arrhythmic. The smoke pollutes my optic sensors. Yeah, I'm having fun too. Um, listen. You working on anything? I'm not currently contracted to anyone. If I lacked discipline, I would be at what might be called loose ends. Existential crisis, Nimrod? I didn't think you were the type. You've worked for the Purity Council, right? The Genetic Purity Council has at times contracted me to kill certain individuals who do not meet specified demographic profiles, yes. That's what I thought. The Rage Gangs and Cyberpunks are terrified of you. What would it cost me to, uh, contract with you? For the transfer of $14,000, my services can be contracted. Are you making me an offer to join you? I understand. I am quite expensive. My services aren't for everyone. Yeah, what do you want? Can't you see I'm right in the middle of something here? Man, you look worse than I feel. Yeah, well I got bigger things on my mind than looking pretty. Obviously. The only time a man gets to look like that is when he's being hunted. Looks like you could use a hand. I may like a drink now and then to calm my nerves, but I'm a damn good shot. Got the senses of a hawk ever since I got my ocular and aural implants. You hiring? I'm cheap. Only 15 grand. Then leave me to my work. I've barely made a dent in this here bottle of whiskey. Stark, what a surprise. Either you're here to talk business, or just to make... I ask for payment up front. I don't have time to run a credit check on you. Twenty-five grand, Stark. This ought to be good. I have a feeling I'm going to have to hold this group together. You could use my leadership. First of all, let's get out of the bar. I don't like the idea of being seen with the likes of you. I have reputation in this city, you know. Have you decided? Very well, I am at your command. Your enemies are now my enemies, and they will die. You look like a decent enough guy. Don't really care what I'm getting into. For 15 grand, I'd even work for a damn vampire. Of course, I'll need the money up front. Thanks. I don't know what I've gotten myself into here, but I don't much care. I've done just about everything in this business. But I'll tell you my policy. I work for a guy once. Only once. I don't like having my name attached to anyone in this town. Got it? 
Now, let's get out of here. Well, what have we here? You've got those steely eyes, like a guy who decks for the company, man. Yeah, right. I spend my days running from the company. I'm no mainstream hack. You guys aren't the only ones on the edge, you know. Besides, who are you that I gotta prove myself to you? Relax, man. <laughs> If you're such a big-edge surfer, then why don't you do something for the revolution instead of just running from it, man? And what revolution is that? If you're really wanted by trans tech, you'd want to put them in their place. Like us here. We believe the quest for information freedom can be achieved only by outright guerrilla tactics against the company that owns it all, man. Destruction of the megacorp machine we're all enslaved to. We gotta take it one step at a time. And I got a little task that needs doing. Involves knocking off a big shot trans tech pig. We got ten grand to pay you for it. Probably ain't as much as you're used to. But you'd be doing it for the cause. You into it? We need you to hit the security director, the king of the pigs, at the Brooklyn headquarters. The guy's a heartless bastard. Instructing the whole pig army to track down the freaks on the cyber crackdown list and kill him in cold blood. He deserves to die. But none of us can get away with it. We're all recognized on Transtech security scanners with instructions to shoot on sight. Do this for us, and you got ten grand coming. Stark, how have you been? And what's Rimmer doing here? You know I'm waking cloaked. Garrick, I need you. You're one of the slickest deckers in the biz, and I'm a dead man without you. Rima says you can be spared from this job. We've got something bigger to deal with. Rima will tell you all about it. You've saved my hide in the net more times than I care to count, Stark. Looks like Rima thinks it's important. If you need me, I'm in. Garrick, it's good to see you're still breathing. When you freelance for gangers, I'm never sure whether or not you're gonna come home in a body bag. This job may not be much safer, but at least we know who our friends are, right? And I know you'd rather be associated with Stark any day. Living, dead, or undead. <laughs> 